Welcome to the original extreme sport in the world. Welcome to Steel Timber Sports. 12 of the world's top wood chopping and sawing athletes will compete in duels with axe and saw to see who's the fastest. Here, it's all about power, accuracy, technique, and speed. This is Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy 2019. This year, the competition takes place in Sweden. The Champions Trophy traditionally marks the start of the international steel timber sports season and is considered to be the most spectacular and difficult competition the sport of wood chopping has to offer. The Champions Trophy is uh, it's special for many different reasons. You know, it is kind of the pinnacle of timber sports. Like these are the top guys that are here. It's all about a knockout round, one on one, and you're going full out sprint. The Champions Trophy stands out probably at the top for me, really, because it, uh, the four disciplines back to back really makes sure you don't earn it. This is the hardest competition for the sport lumberjacks all around the world. The Champions Trophy is an all around test of the world's best. Let's break down this one of a kind event in the Duluth Trading Company Discipline Review. Yeah, well, the Champions Trophy's got four different events. You start off with a stock saw. You want to stay really calm when you cut the stock saw, so you get a nice clean cut. It's just one cut down, and you put that down and run across to the, the underhand. Cut the underhand as quick as possible, and then you run the back to the single buck. And you really got to concentrate on the single buck that you get a good start, because it's quite hard to start the saw and get away quick. Your body's starting to hurt a bit in the single buck, and you got to push through. Then you're moving to standing. have to really push it to get a good standing block. You leave it all on the floor in that and go, just go your hardest. And hopefully when you finish, you're, you're number one. The athlete who can endure will be the Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy winner 2019 and take some generous prize money and this spectacular trophy home with them. Matt Kogar can't wait for the matches to start. He won the US Trophy last year and therefore qualified for the Champions Trophy. Yeah, to represent the United States here, here in Sweden, it's, um, it's it's a lot of national pride just because it's you're the best competitor out of the U.S. You know, I do have the standing block world record just flat up in the standing block. Uh, the last event is a standing block, but I think that little bit of skill in knowing how to take the block apart will help in the, in the last event because the lactic acids in your muscles, you're feeling tired, you got to push past that, you got to get that out of your head and just take the block off in the end. It's an extra notch in your belt for that, you know? So, yeah, it'd be, be good to have a ring. Hopefully it fits. <laughs> Before he can snatch that title, Matt Kogar must first contend with Jesse Whitehead from New Zealand. And here they come. Jesse Whitehead, 28, Matt Kogar, 32. They're not that far off age-wise. You can see Kogar has the height advantage, but that's not always going to play a huge factor Outlet as we get ready to go. Three. Here we are. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Stock saw Jesse Whitehead with a great start there. Good even pressure by Kogar as he gets through there just ahead of Whitehead moving over to the underhand chop. We saw Whitehead earlier on doing a great job in this discipline, and we know New Zealand is strong for their chopping disciplines. Matt Kogar, Whitehead, both moving over to the other side now. It's pretty evenly matched up here. Like I said, right off the hop, Matt Kogar is going to have his work cut out for him if he wants to move on to the semis, and he's done it here quickly through the underhand chop. Oh, Whitehead got off too early, but stepped back up and it broke off. That's going to count. Moving to that single buck. Remember, it's a two meter long saw with cutting blades and sweeping teeth. It's unbelievably hard to control and we see Matt Kogar just gets lucky with that last little stroke. The cookie falls off complete and now moves over to the standing block chop. Whitehead took a lot longer to get through that single buck this time and he is at a distinct disadvantage and Matt Kogar has already moved over to the other side of his standing block chop. He is well and good ahead of Jesse Whitehead as they come towards the end of this heat here. And Matt Kogar drops the block at 109.23, beating Jesse Whitehead, who did move over quickly, but it took him a long time to finish off that block with the last final blows. He knows he's out. Jesse Whitehead looked really good at the start, but Matt Kogar was just too strong today. Okay, the winner is... 
Matt Koga. Steel Timber Sports on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Steel, maker of a full line of gasoline and battery-powered handheld outdoor power equipment. Find yours at SteelUSA.com. By Duluth Trading Company, the official workwear sponsor of Steel Timber Sports. And by John Deere, nothing runs like a deer. This year, the competition takes place in Sweden. I don't know too much at all about Sweden, but, um, you know, happy to be educated on some history. What do you got for me? The Champions Trophy will be held just outside Gothenburg, the second largest city in the country, located on the west coast of Sweden. It's like, wow. Of all things we get a chance to do with our sport, is you have to go to these places. Like, I never thought I could be here. And while I'm there, I'm like, yeah, I really want to compete well, but then, and you look up and you just happen to realize, you start to take in the, the surroundings and you're like, man, it's so awesome just to be here. And it's just another part of the world that I get a chance to see with, uh, with going to these champion trophy events. Sterling Hart going up against Armin Kugler, both of them wearing red, one from Canada, one from Austria. Both of them very evenly matched up, but Sterling Hart is the reigning Champions Trophy champion. He won it last year in Marseille. Will he be able to do it again this year? Let's see. Two, one, go. Armin Kugler, a little bit of a hop there on the stock saw and definite advantage going to Sterling Hart as he gets a clean cut there. Moving over to the underhand chop and Sterling Hart well moving quickly with that accent. He's taken a page out of the Australian's book. Fast movement, switches over to the other side quickly. Armin Kugler still on the first side as you can see. He finally switches over now and Sterling Hart with a distinct advantage here at the underhand chop. A couple of more hits and he should be through that block and he now moves over to the single buck. He didn't like this discipline for a long time as Armin Kugler just can't decide whether he wants to break through that or not. And as I was saying, Sterling Hart really didn't like this discipline but he's been working hard on it and he has knocked that one out of the park. Moving quickly over to the standing block chop. And he's going to work there on the first side as Armin Kugler struggling to keep up with the Canadian. It was a good matchup in the numbers to start, but Sterling Hart definitely had the advantage when they came off of that stock saw, and he basically never looked back from there. A small hop right off the start of the stock saw for Armin Kugler caused a big problem in his timing overall, and Sterling Hart, one more blow should do it. Yep, there it is, a great time of 112.54. Kugler still working on his block, a few more hits to do it, and he's got a time of 118.83. All righty, Mikael Dubicki, Ferry Swan making their way onto the stage. As far as weight and power are concerned, Mikael Dubicki has the definite Stand advantage here. But Ferry Swan Three, has been working very two, hard one, as his mom go. starts to record this. And here we go. Ferry Swan starts quickly with that stock saw. Watch out for Mikael Dubicki. He's got great power, though. Here, you need to have finesse as they move over to the underhand chop. Barry Swan getting in there quickly as he knows that Mikkel Dubicki can really hammer that axe. Very deep cut on the first side, moving over to the other side. Mikkel Dubicki catching up. Mom cheering him on as he really wants to have a win here in his hometown, home turf, let's say. Oh, and Mikkel Dubicki gets the advantage, moving over to the single buck. Here comes Barry Swan. Barry getting into it quickly. Good long strokes, frantic quick strokes by Dubicki and that caused problems as he twisted the saw and got it hooked up. Barry Swan has now caught up and has moved just ahead of Dubicki going over to the standing block chop. This is going to be very tight folks, Dubicki like I said, a power hitter, Ferry Swan, going hard at it. Both of them, stroke for stroke on the first side. Both of them moving over to the other side. Dead even heat now as Ferry Swan is taking a few quicker strokes here. Mikkel Dubicki, he looks like he's got the top of that thing loose. Is it going to be Swan or Dubicki? Dubicki in 109.75. And Ferry Swan, unfortunately, going away from competition today with a 113.21. And there we see the defending world champion, Lawrence O'Toole, getting ready for his quarterfinal battle. Yeah, well, the, the competition in Australia for me went really well. Um, I set myself a goal to win that, you know, and trained pretty early on for it, and I um, was really happy with the results I achieved. Who's going to be our Australian champion? It's Lawrence O'Toole! I don't really feel too much pressure at all. I've been competing my whole life, so, you know, the pressure's only the pressure you put on yourself. Yeah, I'd love to, you know, be able to win the ring. 
Um, just have to wait and see. Here we go, Lawrence O'Toole going up against Germany's Robert Ebner. Couple of good guys. Interesting matchup here. Should be pretty even as they're both Stands matched up well here. Timber. All right, here Three, we go. Two, one, go. Ebner with a good start on that stock saw. Ooh, look at that. Pretty even drop on both cookies. And Ebner gets quickly over to the underhand chop. He knows he has got a massive challenge on his hands against O'Toole because when O'Toole gets those long arms and that axe moving, there is no chunk of wood that can withstand that power. And both of them on the other side. O'Toole just slightly behind Ebner here on the underhand chop. But the chopperoo, O'Toole gets through first to go to that single buck. And now, here comes Ebner. We saw Ebner do very well on the single buck earlier, but those long arms and long legs of O'Toole, I'm telling you, O'Toole's legs start at his shoulders, and he gets through that single buck quickly and moves to standing block chop. Ebner, not that far behind, coming over to the standing block. It's an Australian against a German, against a chunk of wood, and it is a good battle. O'Toole moves to the other side. He's highly motivated as he slabs out a couple of big ones, and that top is looking real loose, and O'Toole gets through in a fantastic, fantastic 103.14. Ebner, also good with 108.35. Wow, great heat. Ebner was actually a little bit faster than O'Toole was on this stock saw, but here was the decisive moment with the top of that block shaking and just looking super sketchy. O'Toole, one final blow and like I said a fantastic time. So the semis are set. Matt Kogar against Sterling Hart in a battle of the 49th parallel and Lawrence O'Toole will go head to head with Mikael Dubecki. We'll catch all the semi-final round action when we return. This is Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy 2019. When you get to the semifinals, the finals, about who has the experience, who's used to doing that. It's who's done the training, who's built up that muscle memory, and who knows how to get the job done. Sterling is up against Matt Kogar. Yeah, the goal is to cut, cut well under a minute, but I just want to beat that personal best that I have of minute three at home. All right, here we go. A battle of the 49th parallel. A North American heat here on Swedish soil in this semifinal. Which of these two athletes will make it to the final? Will it be the reigning champion, Sterling Hart, setting his single buck? Or will it be the American who will make it? Find out now. Sterling Hart, really quick start on that stock saw. Very fast up there, but it looks like Matt Kogar is slightly faster. Ooh, both cookies drop pretty evenly as they move over to the underhand chop. Huge slab coming off for Sterling as he powers through that underhand like he has done in every heat so far. Moving over to the other side quickly, both of them at the same time. Man, this is a speedy heat right now. If you look at the time that is elapsing in the middle of the screen up there, Sterling almost threw that ax back to the audience. He got through there so quickly. Now both over to the single buck. Sterling Hart been working hard on this discipline. A huge stall by Matt Kogar will cost him time. And Sterling Hart gets a bow as well, but manages to get over to the standing block chop just before Matt Kogar. And here is what it's all gonna come down to. Who can get the blows through faster on the standing block chop? Sterling Hart got his ax caught, and that gave the opportunity for Matt Kogar to move over to the other side just ahead of Sterling. Sterling now working the other side. Matt Kogar looking very strong though. Holy moly, look at the drop of the block at 101. Even personal best for Matt Kogar. Sterling Hart having trouble and finally drops it at 110.40. He'll be disappointed with that time. And Matt Kogar moving to the final. Looking back here, there is Sterling Hart. He had a good start, but Matt Kogar was just a hair faster. But the tell-all in this heat was the standing block chop where Matt Kogar was just a little bit stronger. And there you go, a final blow by Kogar, beautiful. Okay, on the winner is Matt Kogar. So the USA's Matt Kogar moves to his first Champions Trophy final.
All right, a couple of power hitters coming out onto the stage, both of them the same age. Mikhail Dubicki, we saw earlier on, he is just super strong, and he is ready for competition here in this semifinal number two against that man, Lawrence O'Toole, who would love to have that ring on his finger and make it a nearly perfect year for him. Three, two, one, go! A high start for O'Toole. He blocks in there quickly. Dubicki right there with them, pretty even on both of their parts to get over to the underhand chop. And now, look at the speed of the axe by Lawrence O'Toole. Mikkel Dubicki following suit though this time. Not going for those high heavy hits, but opting for short chops and getting in there as quick as possible to slab out as much as possible and get over to the next discipline quickly. Oh, but he's in trouble now. A couple of catches of the axe and O'Toole and his long arms and legs has a distinct advantage as Dubicki frantically starts to work that single buck. Oh, a huge catch by O'Toole and he's in big trouble. He needs to do those long strokes to catch up to Dubicki, who's almost at the bottom. And O'Toole gets caught again. Dubicki, advantage going into the standing block chop. O'Toole is strong on this discipline, though. Let's see if he can get there. Dubicki with the advantage, moving over to the other side. O'Toole right there with him. Very close heat as it's gone back and forth from the standing block. Oh, my goodness. O'Toole does it in 104.19. I thought Dubicki was going to have it, but he finally dropped the block in 107.07. Okay, and the winner is Lawrence O'Toole. Now, Mikko Dubicki seems to have sustained a minor injury to his leg. Well, everything is going according to plan for Lawrence O'Toole, who at his first Champions Trophy will be going to the final up against Matt Kogar. We'll see who wins in this epic showdown when we return. Steel Timber Sports on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Steel, maker of a full line of gasoline and battery-powered handheld outdoor power equipment. Find yours at SteelUSA.com. By Duluth Trading Company, the official workwear sponsor of Steel Timber Sports. And by John Deere, nothing runs like a deer. You, I guess you can get a little nervous, but um, I think at this point it's just, it, it's natural. So it's just one of those things that just happens automatically. You know, once, once the uh, stand to your timber comes up, it's, it's automatic. It just clicks in and you just go and not worry about it. Matt Kogar and Lawrence O'Toole. Lawrence O'Toole walks into this competition with some serious confidence, being the individual world champion. And Lawrence O'Toole is a big man. He's strong. We've seen how well he can do this job. Meanwhile, Matt Kogar, he's the guy who can relax a little bit. He knows he's got the skills, but can he beat a man like O'Toole? Let's find out. Timber. Three, two, one, go. All right, with the pressure on both of these gentlemen, they start off with the stocks off. Looks good, and even on both sides. Again, Matt Kogar with a very fast stock saw, and moving over to the underhand chop, it's O'Toole getting in there right away and quickly with that fast axe of his. Over to the other side, both of them pretty much on par with each other here. Matt Kogar just gets through and has the advantage going to single buck. O'Toole, we've seen, has had trouble with the single buck timing, and again, can't get that thing started. Meanwhile, Matt Kogar has got his stuck pretty big time as well. Has to restart that long two meter saw. So both of these guys having problems on this one discipline where there is no wedge and oil help, by the way. Okay, here we go on to the standing block chop. Quick hits by Matt Kogar. Lawrence O'Toole coming strong from behind now. Matt Kogar moving over to the other side. O'Toole now moving over to the other side. Man, look at this. It's going to be Matt Kogar by the looks of it. And a quick final blow for Matt Kogar with 103.92. And he is super happy with the win here at the Champions Trophy in Sweden. Unbelievable. There's almost tears in his eyes as he goes over to shake Lawrence O'Toole's hand. Let's watch the start here again. Both of these guys were great on stock saw. Fantastic effort. On the underhand, it was that man right there. Matt Kogar, who was definitely faster than O'Toole, and both of them struggled here on this single buck, catching the saw on a number of occasions. 
there you see that one huge bow of the saw and that thing is so hard to restart and then that final fantastic blow and a quick look over at Lawrence O'Toole to know that he's just done it. Matt Kogar, the winner. Okay, and the winner is Matt Kogar. That look right there says it all. And that fast performance is our John Deere power play. Nothing runs like a deer. I, I come I come off and look like I kind of just set the axe down a little bit, looked out of the corner of my eye and just saw it. Still putting the last hit in and I was just like, yeah, yeah. So who are the top three taking these medals home? Bronze goes to Canadian star Sterling Hart. The world champion from Australia, Anna Chaparu, wins the silver in his Champions Trophy debut. And the Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy winner 2019, his name is Matt Kogar from the USA. He's won his first international Steel Timber Sports title and joins prestigious company and now can put on the champion's ring. And now it's time for the champagne shower. I can't get over the feeling. Uh, it's unreal. You, you know, I just come here just to put the best cut I could forward, and, and then yeah, just to get to walk away with gold. It's living the dream, man, right there. So that was the incredible final of the Steel Timber Sports Champions Trophy 2019. Thank you for joining us, and congratulations to our 2019 champion, Matt Hogan.